What if I told you that there was a way that you could become the office IT guru, that you are the person everybody comes to for all of their IT needs, making you the most desired person in that entire department, probably the entire organization. Is that something that you want to become? Do you want to be the IT master, the wizard? You can do that. And I'm going to tell you how in this video right now. I'm not going to make you wait. It's literally do all the things that nobody wants to do. And it starts with becoming the Microsoft Office or Google Suites expert, more specifically like Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. If you become an expert in either one of those or both, both would be even better, you auto magically become the de facto IT guru or wizard of your entire organization. You see, it is both a blessing and a curse to become that person, especially when it comes to uh, anything Microsoft or Google Suites related, because the moment anybody finds out that you are proficient in any of those products, services, suites, you automatically become that go-to person, which is great because it you know provides a lot of credibility for you. It provides a lot of work for you. It, you know, it, does a lot of good things for you, but it also does bad things because then that's pretty much all everybody turns to you for, which might also be a good thing because that's ultimately how you end up specializing in a lot of things that are IT related as well. But if you are really, you know, trying to get a foot ahead and, and stay ahead of, you know, all, all the curve and set your, 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 um, your foundations at a, a good place initially, honestly, getting very familiar with the Microsoft suites and like the word, the, the Excel PowerPoint, um, shoot like power BI on, oh, oh gosh, all of those access. So anything Microsoft 365 related, honestly. Um, but really like Excel, very heavily Excel for sure. Um, and then of course like the Google suite stuff, that's all going to be very helpful for you. But then what else can you do? Like what other things can you really become, you know, proficient in that's going to be helpful for you? And that might actually depend on, you know, an organization to organization. There's often going to be times a list of, you know, very specific applications that are used within an organization. You might find that those applications are used in, in other organizations and businesses as well. But with that said, oftentimes you find that a lot of people don't like supporting specific applications because they don't like them and they're challenging and, takes a lot of time, what have you. You're going to find that in every single IT organization you go to. And that's a great opportunity for you to, again, become the expert there, you know, and you can go out on, you know, indeed.com or monster.com if that's still around, I'm pretty sure it is, or LinkedIn and search up jobs in a specific area that you're looking for or a specific niche, I should say, like, you know, whether that's help desk or networking, what have you, and look up those job descriptions and see if there are any identical um, applications or programs that are being requested or being used. Maybe there's a specific industry that you're looking to get in. Maybe it's healthcare, for instance. There are a lot of very specific applications that are used in healthcare that IT has to help support. And you can become an expert in one of those. And probably gonna be difficult if you're not working in a hospital environment already, but as you're getting into maybe a hospital environment or any other environment that is very specifically niched down, um, say automotive or you know manufacturing or what have you, there are gonna be very specific applications used in those organizations or businesses that you might be able to help support and become an expert in. And that's you know, one way to find your good graces within an organization, with your team, and with you know the, the uh, end users that you are trying to support. But it also, again, going back to you, could be bad for you because then everybody's just going to come running to you all the time. Uh, they have an issue with one of those very specific things. But, you know, it, it, it's a, it, honestly, it's like a blessing and a curse. It really, truly is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. But Again, the point of this video is really, you know, if you're if you're trying to become that that IT guru, the that go-to person for, you know, all of the things, you start off with one of those things that everybody just hates and despises and does not want to support. Anytime I go into a new a new organization, I never let anybody know that I'm good with Excel or any Microsoft product. I'm like, yeah, I I, I suck at those products. Uh, anybody else know anything more about it? Because I'm just gonna have to Google it like like you guys, right? Like. That's my whole stance on it. Like, I don't want people to know that I'm proficient in those things because then they're always going to come to me with questions, which, I mean, it's okay sometimes, but not all the time. But 
that's a great way for you to really become a very proficient person uh, in one of these specific applications or just one of those very reliable people in your organization that helps support a specific product. I hope this is helpful for you in, in some way and uh, you kind of understood where I was coming at with this and um, yeah, good luck to you.